So hello and welcome to our mini playful learning festival and the book show. Yeah, so our agenda has changed a bit, so we will have a book discussion and also books offer so that it's possible for you to buy the book there and or just order it from the internet. So there will be the link for you. Yeah, so you can order it rather from Ottawa Learning, which is one of the publishers or from Finland International Education, which is us. <laughs> So welcome our honorable authors, highly qualified specialists, professionals who will today will lead you to the world of playful learning. So it's Dr. Dr. Pirko Karvonen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Pirko is a, a mother of baby women in Finland. She first introduced yeah, baby women to Finland in the early 80s. Also, she has PhD in early childhood education and together with master degree in physical education. And uh, Pirko is also the author of numerous manuscripts uh, for, for the TV shows, children's TV shows. And also she has published over 20 handbooks for early childhood education. Yes. And she mainly focuses on uh, physical education and all, also early reading education. So, now welcome Dr. Christoph Fenivesi. Uh, he also has a PhD in education. Uh, he's also an experienced workshop director and uh, his research interests uh, lay in the areas of, of playfulness, uh, phenomenon-based learning, uh, also uh, experience-oriented ori and cooperative learning and many others. Uh, Susan Helden Pavola. She's a deputy director of the Deka Center and she developed the bilingual pedagogical approach in early childhood education. And her work were featured uh, in the 100.org innovation list. Yes, she also has been working for over than 12 years with children uh, from from uh, one uh, to six years old and she's been dealing with bilingual children and she's been dealing with both languages Finnish and Swedish. Uh, Milla Salonen. Uh, she's a kindergarten teacher and master of arts. She has a vast experience of work with children, 16 plus years of experience and also she, she's been a contributor to in uh, to uh, from a story to play a handbook of narrative play and uh, also tr trains uh, their early childhood teachers uh, and uh, because she's a, she, she pre presents the company of her own so also uh, Mila contributes a lot to the disputes uh, of their national core curriculum uh, what is best for the children and how this core curriculum can be changed and the terms of this curriculum so I'm Alena Adameka, the representative of Finland International Education Company. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks. And before, but before I present in my company, I would like to mention some very special guests we have today. I mean, we, you're all very special, but we have some guests who came from, guess from where? <laughs> we have three flags here from Lithuania, Ukraine, and uh, sorry, we used... Um, uh, Belarusian national flag, not the existing one, because we are a bit, yeah. So there are the people from Stembridge uh, Kindergarten, uh, the people who now, yes, uh, from Lithuania, uh, who uh, helps now to U Ukrainian refugees and also to Belarusian political refugees and on board Ukrainian and Belarusian children all the time for free. Uh, and do a lot to support Ukrainians and Belarusians. And now they came here to learn more about playful learning and to transfer this language to the children. I think we should, we should be grateful for their bravery, for their love to children and for everything they are doing. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, so. Yes, <laughs> so Yelena and Tatiana. Yes, so a bit about some brief, some brief, some words about the company. So Finland International Education, or shortly fine, uh, it's the company that exports uh, the values of Finnish education worldwide, uh, and uh, 
our educational system is based on uh, on the values and principles of uh, Finnish uh, national curriculum. Uh, so our main vision is to be the leader in highly quality early childhood education in our target markets around the world. And we follow the men's main principles and values of trust, respect and equality. So among our key regions, we can, uh, we can uh, point out Europe, uh, Gulf area, Asia and South America. So what do we actually do? We are providing the following services. So we, uh, we sell educational licenses uh, to the kindergartens, play schools, to preschools and elementary schools. And also we also sell training programs for teachers, for parents, for the management of the kindergartens and elementary schools. Uh, besides, we are also responsible for publishing educational materials, uh, also for publishing playful learning in early childhood education in Finland book. And additionally, we also provide parental educate, education, STEAM packages, drama lessons, interior design and arch architectural design. So in China, there will be soon in September 2022, uh, there will be the grand opening of the kindergarten that was like our fine kindergarten that used our interior and architectural design. So. Our licenses, there are three types of licenses that we produce. Uh, there, are, there is a standard license, which means that by taking this license, you will be the only one fine kindergarten or school or whatever in your city. So there won't be other competitors, fine competitors for you. Uh, oh, sorry for that. Uh, also exclusive license, actually, there will be math now. It includes the content of standard license plus as a ple pleasant, nice bonus, a Finnish teacher in your kindergarten or school. And uh, territorial license means that uh, your your chain of kindergartens of your or your kindergarten will be the only one in the whole country, and uh, there will be also the right of sub license. Yes, and the standard license usually includes the academic planning, uh, teacher uh, teachers training, operative training, uh, pedagogical content, and brand guides. But we are very flexible, so it's possible for to take from us, for instance, three three days study visit or take the t t teacher's training only plus uh, 50 lesson plans for one age group out of 500 that we have already. So our uh, target age groups uh, start from zero plus to 10. So we deal with kindergartens, nursery, kindergartens, preschools and primary schools. Yes, and uh, we use the following educational approach. Of course, we, we use learning through play, we use positive pedagogy, we use participation, phenomenon-based learning, all-day learning, and also life skills development. Because to our mind, life skills development is even much more important than hard skills development. So there are some references of the existing partners that we have, so you can see the uh, fine kindergarten in China that will be ready in uh, September 2022. Uh, also, we combine both on-site training and also uh, online training. So here you can see some online training in India. Uh, yeah, uh, some training in uh, China. Uh, some training also in China. So what our specialists usually do, they deal both with teacher staff with uh, uh, with uh, the management and also with children so they also show how to play with children and what activities should be done and they also check how the teachers of these establishments deal with children so there is always a double check of the work yes also some of our partners in vietnam and the kindergartens yeah so thanks a lot for your attention and uh have a pleasant evening full of play and playful learning. And you can see some of the references of our company. So you can also find us on the fa Facebook and can see our fingerprint uh, blueberry sign. So if you find it, then it's us. So you can follow us. So have a nice evening. And now we can open the book discussion. So you can ask some questions or I can start asking some questions. And yeah. Okay. Authors of the book. Okay, we'll pull up. just put another presentation.
mikrofoni ei ole enkä tarpeen. Kuuluuko no niin. Kuuluuko se tuonne ulos myös? <laughs> tota, I will speak in Finnish. Do you understand me if I speak Finnish? Okei. Okay. No niin. Minun nimi on siis Pirkko Karvonen. Yes. No mäkin voin kyllä sanoa jotakin, että kyllä mä nyt osaan sen verran englantia, vaikka olen kirjoittanut kirjaakin. Onko mä sun tiellä tai missä muu pitäisi olla tässä? No niin. Tota, Tämä kirja lähti alkuun noin yli kolme vuotta sitten, melkein neljä vuotta joo. Ja mä oon siis eläkkeellä oleva, I am retired, <laughs> mutta varhaiskasvatuksen laitokselta yksi opettaja tuli mulle sanomaan, että voisinko kir- kirjoittaa tästä kirjasta englanniksi, koska täällä on niin paljon noita ulkomaisia opiskelijoita. They had so many students from outside and they needed some book and this was quite good book for them but when we started when we started writing this book uh, the book uh, we had to change a little bit we, di- we didn't like this book so much <laughs> no niin ja tota mm, tässä me vielä sitä alusta sanon kun tämä kirja, kirja aloitettiin kirjoittamaan, niin When we to write the book, mm, meillä oli vähän vaikeuksia aluksi saada siihen kirjoittajia. We had a little bit of trouble finding writers for the book. Sellaisia kirjoittajia, jotka osas tätä alaa hyvin ja sitten vielä osas englantia ja niin edelleen. Writers who would understand the field of play and they also could do that in English. Hmm. Um, no sitten vihdoin me saimme kaikki koottua, eli meitä on kahdeksan kirjoittajaa. We have so eight authors now. And they are very good one. <laughs> very, very good ones. Um, no sitten tuota, tämän lähes neljän vuoden matkalla niin tapahtui kaikenlaista. Niitä ikäviä asioita minä en kerro. During these four years happened a lot of stuff and she's not going to tell all the awkward things. <laughs> Mutta tuota, onneksi kaikki päättyi hyvin. Ja me saimme... everything is good. Ja. ja me olemme nyt tosi iloisia tästä kirjasta. Ja tässä kirjassa on jaettu, kirja on jaettu kolmeen osaan. The book is divided in three parts. Ja, ja tuota, ensimmäisessä osassa kuvataan päivähoitoa, suomalaista päivähoitoa ja sitä, mitä lakeja siihen kuuluu ja niin edelleen. The first part concerns the legislation of the Finnish uh, early childhood education mm-hmm. and all the regulations that we have concerning the area of that. Ja toinen osa sitten taas kuvaa tota, oppimisalueita, mitä päiväkorissa on. And the second part, part two, describes all the learning areas we have mm-hmm. in the Finnish ja me early kuva- childhood education. Me, ja kolmas osa on sitten leikkiosa. And the third part is about the play activities. Mm. Ja nyt sitten tuota, nämä, tämä kakkososa, jossa on näitä eri oppimisalueita, niin, niin tuota, me kuvataan aika laajasti kutakin aluetta. Those uh, descriptions of the different learning areas describe uh, very widely For instance, like the hmm. esimerkiksi, esimerkiksi kielialue on siinä hyvin laajasti kuvattu, samoin motoriikka, language, uh, taidekasvatus, Art and matematiikka. Mathematical hmm. area. Ja siinä on sitten kuvattu myös se, että minkä ikäisenä lapset mitäkin osaavat. And we also have the stages hmm. where children learn different stuff in hmm. the different age. Mutta semmoinen ydinasia kaikessa on se, että tässä integroidaan näitä alueita toisiinsa. Integrating is the most important thing in this book. Ja 
Eli se ei sillä tavalla ole niin oppiaine keskeistä, josta nyt kritisoidaan sitä, että jos liian niin koulumaista, se ei saa olla koulumaista meidän mielestä. Eikä so se this ole. book is not like about the learning areas individually, it's about that the play is in the center of everything. Ja sitten tosiaan ne leikit siellä lopussa, ne on kullekin alueelle, on kielialueen leikkejä, on motoriikkaleikkejä, on taideleikkejä, on matematiikkaleikkejä ja niin edelleen. Että sillä tavalla ne niin liittyvät sitten siihen teoriaosaan. And in the third part there is uh, for all the sections, like for the language there are own plays, then there are play, play activities for the math and play activities for the art. So all the areas are yeah. separated in the third part. No sitten tuota, Milla ja muut saavat kertoa sitten tästä omista kirjo- kirjoittamistaan alueista. Niitä on joitakin kappaleita kirjoitettu niin kuin yhdessä ja sitten jotkut on erikseen ja niin edelleen. Okay, so I'll translate. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to now present you all the different areas of the book, of the part yeah. of the book, the different writers. Okei. Okay. No niin, jatketaan sitten näillä toisten kertomisilla. Mutta se, minkä minä palautteen olen saanut tähän, tästä kirjasta, niin mä haluan sen kertoa. Se on erään lastenraopettajan, varhaiskasvattajan siis antama palaute. I want to tell you a feedback that I got from a early childhood education teacher Elikkä, about the book. In this book is a lot of energy. And it can see that uh, you have written it with love for children. Eikö me olla kirjoittu se niinku rakkaudesta lapsiin? Kyllä. <laughs> Because the play is the thing for the children. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Milla will go on. Okay. Thank you. Can you hear me with this yeah. <laughs> hair thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now I have this hair thing going on. So my name is Milla Salonen, like I was already presented. I have been working as a kindergarten teacher for 18 years now. And my passion has always been the play. Already in the beginning of my career, I was worried that the children don't have enough time and resources to play, especially because I was working in the preschool. And it was at the time very based on the academic skills that the children has to lear- have to learn like the letters and the numbers and they have to know how to count. And I have always been like, a, no, this is not the thing that this age children do. They play, they learn through the play. And when I was asked four years ago to be a part of the book, uh, I was asked to uh, write an article about the narrative play because that's that's one of my passions also and four years later <laughs> four years later i have been writing a bit more <laughs> almost in every chapter there's something because that <laughs> so this is a been a very long process but very enjoyable because we have had a lot of conversations about the meaning of the play and also the thing that i think is now also in finland very uh, critical thing how we adults play with the children because if we have a kindergarten and we have legislation and we have curriculum and there is a key activity like in the first chapter we talk about that there is in Finland key activity is play so the children will play what are we adults doing then are we just like okay now they go and play what is the profession that we use when we are playing with the children do we do the uh, thing that we are in the play with the children do we step out and look what the children are doing and learning when they are playing and that's the key element i think about the playful learning in the second chapter we are talking about the language and there's also the narratives which are important narratives and play they are like the other side of each other when the children play they make stories they tell stories about themselves they tell stories about the environment they are in they tell stories what they want and if we adults are not listening we are not there where they're doing it 
how do we know what they are thinking? We have very high uh, goals also for the early childhood education in Finland, for like uh, skills of thinking. How do we ev evaluate that? I think play is also key for that. Because in play, the children can do whatever they want. It's a very imagination is something where everything is possible. And I think that's also something we need for the future. We need thinkers who can see things that are not there. And play is also a key for that. And then there is the third chapter about the art and play. Also, the art and play are the outside of the, each other. The uh, art can also be included in the play. It's something concrete that the children can create when they are playing. For instance, in a narrative play, we meet a dragon somewhere. It's a very, very angry dragon, and we have to win it because it's, we have to make it to be as um, nice as possible. And we need something. We have to create that. And then we, for instance, have friendship hearts that they create doing something creative, like painting, musical stuff. It can sing. The heart can sing and make the dragon nice. So we can include everything into the play. We don't need separate things because the play can do it all together. And then the chapter six, where we have from the curriculum, we have the other uh, learning areas. It's about being a human to another, how we can practice kindness, how we can practice uh, tolerance, how we can be all together in the same play by being ourselves, how we can share our things even though we don't know each other. It's an universal language of the children and I'm also uh, hoping that someday it will be also the language of the adults, that we adults, sh adults should find the playfulness again because that's something also that you, makes us feel good. And I'm hoping that in the future that's a part of the kindergarten teacher program, <laughs> to be playful. And I challenge you all to be playful also. Thank you. <laughs> that was <laughs> very passionate. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay. Uh, I will speak mostly Finnish, but I will introduce myself. I'm Susan Helden Pavola, and I'm the one who is working with these great people. They are one, two, three, four, five, and six years old. And I, uh, I'm a small part of this book, me and my two colleagues. We think that we know the best because we are working with these children, what you are talking about. And now I speak in Finnish and maybe Mila, you will translate. Me tehtiin kombo meidän osiosta. We made a uh, combo. Uh, we combined those things that uh, Helen, uh, Susan is writing yeah. in the book. Kolme varhaiskasvatuksen opettajaa. Three kindergarten teachers have been written the part three with me. Eh, kolme eri osaamisaluetta. Three different learning areas. Eh, three prof profession I would like to think. Okay, profession. Yes. yes. Eh, Päivi, musiikin harrastaja. Päivi, who has the music as a hobby. Yes, Elina, an artist. Ja mun osaamisalue on koko päivä pedagogiikka. Uh, Susanna's, Susanna's um, can I say passion? Yeah. <laughs> Is the whole day pedagogy. Uh, me ollaan näiden lasten kanssa 7-8 tuntia päivässä. We spend seven to, uh, from 7 to 8 hours with the children during the day. Ja silloin me puhutaan koko päivä pedagogiikasta, koska me saadaan joka paikkaan sitä oppimista. And that's why we talk about the whole, whole day learning, because we can add learning in all the parts of the day. Sisällä, ulkona. Indoors, outdoors. Ruokailussa. While dine, uh, eating. Eh, siirtymisissä eteistilanteissa, kun puetaan. In the different... Uh, when, you <laughs> when you go from 
out, uh, indoors, outdoors, mm. this. I don't remember the word now. <laughs> Transitions uh, from yes. outside to the inside and inside and outside, or from the, from eating to outside mm. or. Niihin kaikkien tilanteisiin saa musiikkia, kaikkien tilanteisiin saa taidetta, kaikkien tilanteisiin saa kieltä, kaikkien hetkiin saa matematiikkaa, kaikkien hetkiin saa motoriikkaa. All these situations during the day can include mathematics, uh, moving, art, music, all this can combine through the whole day. Avainsanat meidän, meidän osiossa tässä kirjassa on. The key words in our chapter are participate, osallisuus, vuorovaikutus ja läsnäolevuus, uh, interaction between different persons and this person, läsnäolevuus, and being present at e, the moment, e, koko päivä pedagogiikka, the whole day pedagogy, yes, siinä ne oli, Tän. kiitos. I will tell the, uh, about chapter four, that it's in, including mathematics. Uh, Laura Taittonen, who is living in Tampere, she couldn't come, not here. And, and I, I will say the key words. Innate mathem mathematical abilities, basic skills in arithmetics, counting skills, understanding mathematical relations, Spatial thinking and geometry. And Christoph is the next. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Pirko. And thanks for all of you who uh, came, came today. Uh, a large part of my presentation is there. I think you, I hope that you immersed uh, in, in, into, into, into my chapter, yeah. not my chapter, <laughs> but our ch yeah. chapter about uh, steam we, we we say but um, i think uh, pirko started with the keyword that was integration mm -hmm. and uh, i think this chapter that we were working together in my case it was uh, about the integration through play and in play uh, making with things and thinking through things and thinking with things which are also integrative objects uh, and becoming uh, dragons or or or, 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 or representations of, of of knowledge in in the hands of of children also information so many 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 things uh, come um, uh, through through this imaginative um, uh, flow uh, in 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 the play and uh, uh, also the, the reflection uh, through these experiences that's a very important uh, part of of um, of playing as well and because many times it also takes playful format the reflection itself so i think this is a very uh, c complex but but in the same time a very open open process and and very 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 pleasant and very cozy very very safe uh, uh, process as well what 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 all all you uh, described uh, I, I would like to highlight um, uh, another aspect of integration so i was really uh, glad and 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 really humbled to be integrated in your uh, group as well because um, if you take a look to the list of the authors, you can see the Finnish, S Swedish, Finnish names uh, in in the in the authors, and maybe uh, we we have a say in uh, in Hungarian. I think it's also exists in Finnish. I'm the uh, only egg of the of the cuckoo, the 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 different egg, <laughs> which has the different. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, patterns yeah. so I'm Hungarian so <laughs> you, you can you can know from my name um, and um, also I'm the I'm the only male uh, author uh, in in this in this in this book I, I needed to mention this uh, but uh, it was a very interesting process and uh, actually Pirko uh, 
uh, shuffled the cards and and she keep kept uh, the threads in in her hands and uh, she was uh, she was also like a little bit like in a very good sense a puppet player or a mo motivator in in, our, in, a, in, a, in our puppet <laughs> theater or, or a m m mother yeah. but many many processes has been which I think only she has had the vision but not any of us uh, knew the big plan uh, on some points maybe Mila is a little bit exception but at least not not me and I, I can tell you I can't can't explain you the moment of surprise when I found out that Susan uh, Paivi Elena are co-authors in this book because I, I meet with them every day because my children are in the same <laughs> kindergarten and you you can imagine that there was this book process is going on already like one year we already had manuscripts uh, 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 submitted and then i just thought, okay <laughs> you you are you are there too because of course on some point i i i, I started to saw uh, the the whole book not not just these little yeah, islands little and box, it started yeah. to come together and i that was also another revelation that i had to understand of course every book uh, what i contributed is is is, is true true everything is true in every books uh, where, where i ever contributed and about the surprises this is like the first time i've met anybody <laughs> yes, else yes, true. because we have been doing this and online and also the <laughs> pandemic uh, affected this and, and ma many yeah. things uh, in the same time but i had to understand <laughs> and i had to understood also in that point that in this book everything is really true because my children uh, who are in many <laughs> photos actually they they experienced everything wh yeah. what is written there and one more word about integration so uh, um, we, we, we have also foreign guests uh, to, tonight like uh, myself uh, sort of so uh, integration into the Finnish society is 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 very very easy uh, on many ways but if you have children i think that's the easiest because the strong foundations of early childhood education and in many countries there are some hierarchy between uh, academy is the highest and then high school secondary school primary school and I, i'm talking about for example hungary uh, and early childhood education is not uh, really uh, the most important in the head of the decision makers. But yeah. here in Finland, that's the very strong basis. And also to the entrance, uh, the entry for the society, not only the foreigners, but also for the Finnish uh, people yeah. themselves. And we could experience all of this. And I think this book is also open uh, this door. And that's why it's important that it's in English that uh, now uh, also other societies, other uh, uh, kindergartens or the childhood centers can also think seriously and, and can have some help uh, how to have these doors open and, and have these uh, dimensions also seen uh, through on a very systematic way, but also in a very playful way. Because all these games, I think this is a, at least like a minimum two, but maybe three books if if we are serious but uh, the main part is the collection of the of the games and and that's that's very important sorry for talking too long but i yeah. uh, that was the moment i could tell uh, yeah. all of this thanks okay and then i have written the part uh, part 5 and um, chapter 5 and it's telling about motoric and because I have, uh, I have teach motoric in the at the university to kindergarten teachers. Okay, the keywords are motor learning and physical activity and motor skills. And in my mind, this physical activity is very very important today because children are looking all the time the phone, television, and sitting. And now in kindergarten, they had to teach children to move, move, move. And it's good if they do that at home too. 
No niin, nyt se. Mä vielä sanon tästä. The general goal of motor learning and movement is to develop a child's holistic learning and growth as well as to promote a physical activity and health lifestyle. Uh, physical exercises are a natural way to get to know children's level of self awareness, miten se sanotaan, <laughs> awareness and mastery of their bodies, providing a basis for healthy life, self-esteem. And 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 I think that in when you are teaching motor motor exercises. You can include in the mathematics and you can include in art and in music and then. And now I hope that you stand up and we can put movement to language. I hope you, you could you could do with your body te kirjain. Te. Te. Remember the head. T. That T is not like. Yeah, it doesn't have. Not. T, you know, the T is not like this. Mm. Like this. For example. Sit the X. 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 How do you say this? S. 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 <laughs> Oho, yes. S. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, U. U. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> U. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Ot otakaa sitten pari. You can take pa uh, pair. a partner. Partner. A pair. If I have to say, my, 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 you know, these who I'm working, are you they are much better than you <laughs> <laughs> Because they have this imagination, so something is going to happen with us. And they are more flexible. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> of course. Of course. No okay. need. Now you can do together. Does everybody have a pair? B. B. We. B. 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 Oh, maybe it's like B. <laughs> 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 That's a, yo, B. Yo. Are you kidding? Or is the B your B? <laughs> 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 like yeah. B. <laughs> We did a B. <laughs> K. 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 <laughs> They had it like a participation. Yes, to get some letters. Give us letters. H. 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 So if we are the, and then we would hand like this. Yes. M. 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 Like mother. Okay, we can. We can. We can. We And when we think this all, we all do it in a different way, and we are having fun, we are laughing, yes. mm. so you can only think that, like endorphin that it's okay. coming through us when we are playing also as an adult. Okay. This was a play and what happened to us? Everybody was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and learning the uh, alphabets. <laughs> yes. Just by doing that. Yeah. Okay, thing. thank you. This was an um, example from the book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, now 
can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Now we can ask some questions uh, to the to the authors of the book, and then we can continue playing with you. Do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. You want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, better <laughs> ask. Okay. <laughs> True play. I hate the silent moments. So, <laughs> so I have to ask questions. I don't need the microphone. <laughs> I'm loud enough. Oh, you're streaming. Okay. The, I have actually two two questions slash comments. The first one is, okay, this is like... Uh, uh, preschool type of activities mostly. How do we extend this to, to primary school and secondary school? And the second one is uh, how do we get this into teacher education as an, really a, a part of the training of the future teachers? Okay, I think uh, for the first question, how we do with the uh, older uh, students I don't think we have to change much because the play doesn't change so much. It's about the ideas that the older children uh, come up with when they are playing. For instance, like uh, uh, the smaller children do it, for instance, this alphabet. It, it's not the point that they know that they are alphabet. But when they go older, they know that, okay, now we can do also the alphabets we have been reading by ourselves. And that's the fun and that's the learning through the play. Somebody want to uh, add? The second question or comment you had. How do we get this into teaching? Right? Yes. <laughs> and, and I take it in Finnish. Maybe my, uh, Milla, you can translate. Sen takia on harjoitteluosio. Eli paljon siellä teoriassa tehdään, mutta tämän kaad, they are coming and do their practice at the field because we are playing over there. Ja sitä harjoittelua valitettavasti on otettu Suomessakin paljon pois, että sitä kun lisättäisiin, niin, niin se ratkeaisi varmaan sillä. So in Finland also we have uh, shortened the periods of uh, practicing in the field where the children actually are with their teacher playing and doing the stuff. So I think we also should have a lot of more time that the, te uh, the students would spend with the actual children how they learn. I don't know how we get the book there. That's maybe somebody who is responsible for the what kind of material the teacher training is using. Maybe for instance, what some courses could use our book also as an English material that we also have in Finnish education also. Questions? Experiences. It's important that we we don't have any books like in the school, but we are playing that in the, in the kindergarten. So we don't need books. I think that in many countries they they use they use books for children for small for children. Small children. Mm -hmm. And doing things at the table, like sitting and listening a teacher talking and then mm. answering in the certain way, maybe. But in a play, you don't have any certain goals. You don't have any certain way to do things because we can be different also in that way that we maybe come in the same conclusion, but we come from the different aspects of the thing. Uh, and we learn different. I think that's the main goal. <laughs> with children under uh, in preschool we we me otetaan se huomioon we take that into consideration that, the that we are different learners yeah. you know kinesthetic uh, visuaalisesti auditiivisesti kinesthetic mm -hmm. Martin Rusek yeah, my question would be when we were doing all those all those letters then at the moment you you told us that the hat is not supposed to be sticking out so the t is like nice and clean so we received some kind of feedback 
and then we didn't receive it anymore. So my question would be the children at the very beginning would be and are looking for some sort of feedback from the teacher telling them what is right and what is wrong. And I guess my question is how to stop it and how to make it come from inside that they don't need the adults, the correct, the only one correct feedback anymore and they just know what's right or not. Was it was it clear? If I understood the question right, uh, eli varhaiskasvatuksessa puhutaan niin kuin ratkaisukeskeisyydestä. In early child, uh, edu- childhood education we talk about the uh, problem solving is in the middle of to- things. Together. And that, that we do that together. Uh, solving the problem. Of course if you're six years old and you're going to school, so mitä lähemmäksi koulua, alku, alkuopetusta tullaan, niin se pitää tavallaan niin kuin, te on kuitenkin tietyn muotoinen ja näköinen. When we come closer to the uh, primary school, it's uh, also the children think that they have to know what the tea actually looks like. Mutta tavallaan niin kuin se, se silleen, että he on osa hakemassa, he on osa, osallisena hakemassa sitä vastausta siihen, niin mä en anna sitä valmista vastausta. They are also trying to find themselves how the tea looks like and he, uh, the teacher doesn't give the right answer right in the moment. Maybe like this happened now, <laughs> but in the, when we were playing with the children, it may be not that obvious. Joo, se on tärkeää, että mä en tukahduta sitä oppimista sanomalla liian aikaisten, että se pitää olla just noin. So that we don't too early say that this is right and this is wrong, so that the child can also uh, learn that by themselves. So. Et, jos, jos on lapsi, jonka ensimmäinen kirjan alkaa teellä. If there's a child whose name's first letter is T. Joo, niin hän usein itse korjaa sen jo siinä tilanteessa sitten muille, että se T on semmoinen, että se pää so on sinne he alas. will do it in the play, that because he knows the letter, that when they are playing, he corrects the others, that it doesn't have that, it's mm-hmm. going to look like this. Mm-hmm. So usually it comes from the children. Eli tässä se participate, the participation of the children. tässä opetustilanteessa kanssa. He löytävät sen ratkaisu itse. Useimmiten. Yeah, it's the peer learning. They're teaching them others, for instance, like the first letters. If the, that's the thing that they know already. When they are even small children, they know what is my first letter. So. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Can, so, can we say, can we make a conclusion that playful learning is like the best or one of the best approaches in education? So, does it help to in this so that interaction between an adult, it can be teacher, parents, parent, between the parent and a child, adult and child, to be more productive? And does it help to gain the learning goals quicker? Like, yeah, in a way. I think Dr. Purvis has said that the brain needs was it one, uh, 400 repetition when you're doing it in a academic <laughs> type, that you're repeating something during at the table. And it takes only like, I don't remember what it was mm-hmm. in play, but it was so small that the children learn it so much quicker. I have to find it somewhere, the, the quote, but the play is actually mm-hmm. the thing. I, I'm c- concrete, <laughs> <laughs> per, uh, like certain that when the children play and we adults play with them, is it a parent at home or is it a teacher in uh, early childhood education, is it a teacher in, in preschool uh, or in primary school? If you are playful and you have a little bit of magic in your teaching, I have hundreds of experience of children who might have been difficult or a handful in an other group, but when it's based in the play, they haven't been like that. Because in the play, they can everybody peek in themselves. They don't have to sit. They don't have to listen to just adult talking, they learn that. Because for instance, in narrative play, they meet characters who have tasks for them, but it's totally different uh, authority when it comes from the playful adult. 
For instance, if I'm now the dragon and you have to give me the something that I need and I'm a bit angry and uh, for instance, like the, uh, the fear. We don't uh, actually talk about it with the children, but in a play you can have excitement. I remember I had an, uh, we talk about the, uh, the story of three pigs and a wolf, and then the children wanted to play the, the story, and there were the three pigs, and they built the different houses. First had the bulky straw, and then the second one had the wood sticks or something, and then the third one had the bricks, and it was the best house, of course. And then they wanted to play it, but it wasn't so excited because they were playing just themselves. Then one boy goes, ask Mila, I know she can be a very good wolf. <laughs> and then they came and, could you be the wolf in our story? We want to play, but it's not, it's not the same because there isn't anything exciting. And then when I came, I had only the ears presenting that I'm the wolf, but the screaming and the the excitement that the children had when I went to knock all the doors and they get to run away. So that's what I would want all the teachers learning themselves, that you can be the excited part of the play. You can create these atmospheres and you can create these kind of like things with the children. So I think, yes, it can be <laughs> very profound thing Please, for the children. Thanks. I can tell a little bit of um, when we started this book, before background of this book is a uh, three years project. And when we then te uh, were teaching those alphabets, T and V and so, uh, do you know what the parents, children's parents said to me, like to teachers? No. It's not the right way to teach like that. They had to have a book and they had to sit on the, uh, and, and on the table and write. They couldn't believe that children can learn like this. But after that, when they have seen uh, that, that children learn so much, they said, oh, that's a good way. But it was very very difficult to understand in the beginning. And then also, when we think about the future, what kind of skills the children actually need in the future? We don't know what the future is going to be like, maybe not even five years, or in 10 years, or in 15 years, when they're going to be in the worker life. And I think there has been a lot of talk about these uh, future skills like learning to learn, uh, the uh, problem-solving skills, and the creativity. And when we uh, think that, what is the most important thing also, what you can learn in play? You can learn all the moral things when you're playing with the other children. You can learn uh, how to take others in consideration, rather that you have a little moment where you practice that in a formal way, that now you say this, and then you say that. But when you're playing, this happens automatically. You just have to be there as an adult to see that now we're actually practicing the social skills. So that's, I think, yeah. it's also a way we can change the future and be the ones that carry these children to the next, next part of their life. So we have a very long-term effects what we do in the early childhood education and preschool. I think I have the last question as a parent. So are there any practical tips how to play with children? Are there any rules how to play and teach and learn? So to make it more effective? I would say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> Anything goes. I think it's the most important thing is that there are no goals for the le like playing. The thing what you're doing in the play, what you want them to learn, that's your mm -hmm. own goal. You don't like expect the child to to learn. Maybe that straight away. I think that participate is the key word here. Yeah. Also, mm -hmm. so if if we are talking about children from one to six mm -hmm. years old, yeah. so you they 
have to be a part of the learning situation. Can it be also mentioned this absence of critics? We don't criticize children for what they are doing, for instance. Yeah. Because in play, everything is possible. Yeah. You can do it yeah. in a different way. Yeah, and I think also that the participation as an adult, uh, as a parent, if you don't want to be a very active one, you can be the patient in the doctor play and the child is doing all the experimentation for you or uh, you are, uh, the child is building something, you can ask questions who is living in there and, okay, I'm going to take the teddy bear and I'm bringing it here. So, for instance, at home, if you have something else to do also, I have also a three-year-old at home, if I have some chores that I do, I can take her to do those with me in a playful way or if she has a play going on, I can give little things that she can add to the play. Not maybe in a learning situation, but some, it also happens <laughs> when you add something to the play, you learn something always. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, does anyone else has questions? Because otherwise we will ask you the questions. <laughs> should we? Yeah. So should we, should we try? Who will be responsible? <laughs> Crystal? You're reading well. <laughs> uh, can we can we can we try some playful activities with the with, with the adults? Uh, yeah? yeah. So we can we can have a closing game, I think, because you also need to reach the train yeah, the with train, your guests yes, and the yes. time is, is is coming soon. But um, uh, as a closing game, um, can you say a number between can you hold this uh, between one and uh, 116 <laughs> oh, anyone two okay so let's see uh, game number two because all the games has a number in this book and it has uh, more than a hundred uh, games. So, number two. Okay, clap when you hear it. Something shared with a child is mentioned in a story and the child acts in a certain way when they hear it. So, we should have everybody a roll <laughs> before we can start to do this. Okay. We should give out roles, and then uh, somebody yeah. should come up with the story. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Some maybe, roles. maybe you take another <laughs> 116. number. Hundred and sixty. Play needs time. <laughs> One hundred sixteen. Did you say that? Yes, last one. Yeah. Painting by dancing. <laughs> we don't have any paints. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. but um, maybe maybe you can just uh, explain. Okay. Like or then maybe, maybe we take the number three. Okay, two plus one. <laughs> okay. You have to uh, find out a way to come, a, come on a trip with me. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to get on the trip, and then you have to think what is the key that you can also join our trip together. My uh when I'm going to do the trip, I'm going to take a banana with me. How are you going to come to the trip with me? Guys, okay, so I'm counting on you. Okay, you can get on the board. With the monkey? No, no sorry. No. So I got orange. Yes, welcome on board. Well, very well. You're on board. <laughs> Maybe not. Almost. Your half. Oh, your other other food is already on the board. Mango. Yes, you're on the board. Yes, you're on board. Coconut. Yeah, yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> That's also uh, challenged the teacher. Yes. How we distinguish them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the idea also that you can, for in, for instance, if you're waiting to go somewhere, you can have this kind of play with the children that. And then there are always those who don't come up with the idea, then you can give a little bit of examples. <laughs> so maybe we wish a nice trip to everyone with your bananas <laughs> and, and <laughs> with, your, with your mangoes <laughs> and <laughs> all. You can all go now and yes. enjoy the trip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and thanks a lot thanks uh, a for, lot for coming. Everybody. It was a great pleasure to, to see you here. And thanks a lot for the contribution. And uh, I hope that you, you will bring, we, we hope that you will bring the message of play to everyone uh, you, you meet. Thanks a lot. And play yourselves. Yes. <laughs> yes. No matter what they, no, no matter, matter what way. they say, <laughs> be yourself. Thank play you. yourself. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.